Uh, do you think that CTFs are good for hacking mastery? Uh, it depends. So, you know, I've done a lot of hack the box. I've done a lot of try hack me type of stuff. Um, they are really fun. They are really engaging. You can learn a lot about cybersecurity doing those types of engagements, doing those types of courses and, and that type of activity. You know, I, I think we're never done learning in the cybersecurity field, at least, you know, we're learning every day, every engagement we go on. Sometimes we're learning something new about a particular product or application or, or technique. So, you know, as long as you're learning something, it's good, but really it depends on, you know, what you're trying to get into. So if you're trying to get into the red team side of things, red team is, is very broad. You know, there's a lot of different roles, a lot of specialties and a lot of companies looking to hire people who have red team experience. So it can never hurt. Yeah. 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 I would say from my experience, if you are getting into something that you haven't done before with a CTF and it's, it's not something that's highly proprietary, it's something you would actually see in the, in the real world, then it's a valuable thing to partake in. Um, I wouldn't just get too discouraged if you don't perform well at CTFs. Um, I found that a lot of the CTFs I joined early on were way out of my league and like, it was a little discouraging at first. So finding ones that are well suited to the skills you're interested in investing in is, is one thing that's really helpful. And then just making sure that it does align with like real world stuff. Some of the like ciphers that I tried to work on were just insane when I first got started. And, uh, I, I really had to level up in order to even understand what was going on. But at first, it almost made me quit. So don't be too hard on yourself when you're just getting started. But do learn the kinds of tools that will be useful in virtually every CTF, like network scanning tools, being able to find your way around a network. Those are like some of the just IT skills that I feel like a lot of people, especially computer science people, slept on and like ended up kind of like struggling in some of these CTFs when they can't find their way around a network or do some of these more like IT oriented tasks. So like fast scripting, using Linux tools, uh, networking, these are all things that are going to do well for you at pretty much any CTF that you attend. So I would say for buffing those skills, CTFs are wonderful and get you introduced to the tools that you're gonna use in the real world. So I would say, yeah.